7. Today is Saturday, September 15th. It's around 4 p.m. I am in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and uh, the vlogs are a stream of consciousness uh, public journal. And I typically start with uh, what is top of mind, and I go for 10 minutes um, scanning through what's happening in the moment. Sometimes a few moments of silence to consider what are the options of topics to discuss in this blog. And so I just came back from a run. I did a, did a shower, did a around four mile run through the downtown and uh, the downtown, the, down, the center of D1, District 1 of Vietnam. And earlier I went to a cafe. I got like a, like a, like a lunch, pho, pho, pho. Uh, oh, and then um, I went to a, a cafe where there was like a developer meetup. So what's top of mind is uh, building mobile applications. Going from being a developer, you have to change your way of thinking and working to um, about being an entrepreneur, and that's a whole different game. So this is something on top of my mind right now. So what else is top of mind? I want to talk about this. I want to talk about um, this idea of manifestation. What, how you can evolve to change your life. And a uh, rate of self-evolution arose. This is the topic number three. So first is entrepreneurship, then it's uh, manifestation, what that means. And three is rate of self-evolution, self-evolution. And a uh, manifestation, I want to talk about how um, you, how mindset is around 20% of the work and 20% is like action. So say you want to build um, a successful company that is making 5 million ARR, annual recurring revenue. And what will that take? So on one side, it's all the action. On, on another side, it's the mindset that's required for you to be able to achieve that. And one key, one key aspect of this is gratitude. And okay, the third topic is uh, rate of self-evolution. And this is really like self-development, self-improvement, self-help, personal growth. These topics are actually like core to the human experience. I mean, all philosophies, religions are essentially uh, tools of self-help, uh, self-improvement protocols. Societies, these are uh, self-improvement protocols at, at, at core. What they do is they, uh, they, they work, so they propagate themselves, they, they help people live longer, live happier, live better and smarter. And so this is really like the core of the human experience and a couple of topics inside of this field for me is, uh, mm, okay, like observing how, reflecting on, I mean, there's so many topics, but like reflecting on, things I've learned uh, from like other mentors. And um, so a topic I've talked about before is like this idea of like my fault and accepting responsibility for your life. And um, this is really, this is very important. And another, another, another part is like, again, gratitude uh, is, is very important. And at the same time, it's um, for everybody, it's different. And that's like the hard part because how do you make something some media or some course or some content for uh, that's going to speak to everybody. It's going to be for somebody. It's going to it's going to not help for somebody else. It it does may make sense or ring true. So that's uh, very important. Okay. So uh, the first topic was um, how how what is the mindset for an entrepreneur for building mobile applications? How is it different from being a developer? So you're you're not really thinking about how to build the app or design it, but you're really thinking about how it's going to be in a user's hand, how they're going to go and press subscribe, and they're going to pay you. That is the key. What you're doing is you're building 
tools or software that essentially will be displayed in front of a user and then they're going to look at the offer and they're going to be like yes or no they, they, they want to pay for this or no that's the um the frame that's the objective that's the uh purpose of your actions your activity so now if your activity is not lined up towards that end then you could be spending all of eternity being very busy working very hard it could be the best brilliant uh, developer operator designer influencer but if you're not really conscious and aware and having this kind of um, end goal at the heart of everything you do then you're not going to really make it or you, it's going to take you like 10 years or 100 years because then it's going to be like a side effect of something you're, you're thinking about something else um, and it's not really just about and it's not just about like you know tricking a person into paying you because that's not really um that doesn't resonate with me with my kind of uh ethics feeling personality identity uh it doesn't resonate with me it doesn't feel right it's about understanding like what is the true kind of like um uh, valuable exchange here that's happening so uh, we're we're living in an evolving world, and so it's very time. It's a very uh, time sensitive thing. Like, what people are paying for today is different from what they did uh, five years ago, or one year ago, or even six months ago. So it's very much a cultural uh, thing that's very much a changing and it's evolving and it's flowing. And so you really have to be connected with the the world, and you know, not stuck in a in a room. Uh, trying to trying to uh, trying to build something. You really have to be going out there, listening to people, uh, observing different niches, communities, and connecting with different communities, connecting with uh, people that are doing similar things, and, and observing what's working, observing other areas, and getting inspiration from other areas. Like I'm in Vietnam, and I'm seeing like these capybara plush toys everywhere. It's like a it's like a, a trend right now. So it's like that's you know maybe build a capybara uh, themed app where it something like that so um or like the fidget spinners like you know people started whole whole industries businesses based on the fidget spinner or or like two years ago like um ai music generators like the ai drake songs were like hot and popular and whole companies started around from that trend and it just grew took off all right so that's topic one i only have one minute left the other topics are uh, manifestation especially how gratitude is important here. And gratitude is really like, no matter what level you are, um, you have something to be grateful for. And so ha cultivating this attitude, this perspective, is actually like a muscle. And uh, it's up to you. You decide like what you want to pay attention to, what you want to, what kind of frequency you want to have, what, what things you want to uh, turn over in your mind, what things you want to uh, keep coming back to, what things you want to emphasize in your in your day-to-day -day life. And just observing the things that you have that you're grateful for, uh, Allows you, it has so many benefits from like there's a whole list it's like better than any kind of uh, pharmaceutical drug just gratitude okay and the last topic was um rows rate of self-evolution so what's really fascinating here is rate of self-evolution is all about it's the most exciting thing you know lifelong learning lifelong uh, personal growth and development and just one topic one thing that's been really on my mind around this area is uh Being able to to um, observe how like long term thinking and re returning to a practice or a habit is not really difficult, but it's more of a choice. Like you don't really have to put a lot of effort into uh, just you know don't lifting weights. Like you don't have to like kill yourself every time. Just like do enough to like uh, get to your limit, and then you know it's actually kind of nice. It's not hard, but and then like you just keep coming back to it. And so really, you know, there's a trick to to getting really fit and getting uh, ripped and getting uh, healthy and it's just it doesn't really have to be hard work it just you just have to be consistent and how do you get your body to be consistent is uh you don't don't kill yourself and have that reward and uh sense of your your body actually produces a reward when you when you exercise you like endorphins and just like appreciate that and then like be like yeah i just have to do this consistently and you know every every couple of days or every other day come back to the gym and just do the same and have fun and then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get fit, you know. So I need it there. Peace. It's over. It's over 11 minutes. Over 12. So I'll I'll play it back at 1.2 speed. Uh, namaste.